Hello, this is Mr. Matt Techniques and welcome to my channel. In the past lessons that we have, we have learned so many things about the basic operations in mathematics. Napag-aralan natin ang multiplication, division, addition and subtraction, fractions, ratio and proportion, and many other else. Now, it's time for us to level up our lesson. And it's time for us to learn algebra. Yes, ito yung subject na lagi na lang hinahanap si x where we find the unknowns like x, y, disease, and many other else. However, in algebra, we still use the basic operations of mathematics that is the addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Likewise, in arithmetic, the value of the unknown is always the answer. Like for example, 3 plus 2, you are only looking for the answer, which is the unknown. Whereas in algebra, you can say that 3 plus 2 is equal to x. Because in algebra, the letters of the alphabet are used to represent the values of the unknown. So for example, so it's only not the, it's not only the x that we use in algebra, but we use also the other alphabets like A, B, C, D x, y, z, n, so on and so forth. But what is algebra and who is the founder of algebra? Well, algebra is a branch of mathematics that deals with symbols and variables that uses algebraic operations to find the unknown quantities represented by these variables. Unknown variables, we will discuss that later on. Like as I've said, who is the founder of algebra? Algebra was founded by Muhammad bin Musa al-Khwarizmi, who is a Muslim mathematician. Algebra comes from the word algebra, meaning the reunion of parts. So in studying algebra, we must first learn the basic terms used in this subject. First, we are going to discuss about the basic words used in, in the study of algebra are the following words. They are constant, variables, terms, and algebraic expression. So one by one, we will discuss about these words. So first is the constant. A constant is a number of its own and it never changes its value. For example, are 8, 0 0.5, 1.6, 3 over 5, and negative 3 over 4. So those are examples of constant, numbers that never changes its value. Okay, let's check if you understood what we are discussing so far. We are given here a set of given numbers and letters. Okay, you have here an 8, negative 12xy, 3x plus 3y, 7z, a, 12 baby, 10x plus 7, 5b, a plus 3b minus 22, 4 and 1, 8, negative 150, 3 over 8, x. Now to determine which one is a constant, we, we take this negative 12xy as a whole. We take 3x plus 3y as a whole or as one. The same with 10x plus 7. Take this as a whole. a plus 3b minus 22. Take this as one. And 3 over 8x as one. So referring from this given here, determine which of them is a constant. Remember that a constant is a number that never changes its value. I'm going to pause, give you time to check which of these are constants. Go. Okay, finished. So the question is, which of these given numbers and equations are constants? Constant is a number 
that never change its value. So it's one of our constants. Okay? You have here an 8. 8 never changes its value. So it's a constant. You have 4 and 1 8. Another constant that never changes its value. And negative 150 is another constant. So did you get it right? If you say yes, then very good. So far, gumagana ang inyong mga isipan. Next is variables. What is a variable? Variables are letters of the alphabet that represents the value of a number. Examples of variables are the yung lagi na lang inahanap, yung lagi nawawala, yung lagi ng unknown is the X or the other letters of the alphabet such as Y, Z, A, B, C, D, F, L, M, Y, and so on and so forth. So these are variables. Now let's go back with our examples a while ago. The same given set of numbers and unknowns determine which of these are variables. Remember, a variable is a letter of the alphabet that represents a certain value of a quantity. Examine which of these are called variables. Again, based from our definition of a variable, a variable is a letter which represents a certain quantity of numbers. So from here, which of here are variable? You have here A. You cannot consider X and Y as a variable because we have here a constant that when you multiply with a certain value, it changes its value. You cannot also consider this because 3x plus 3y does not, does not follow the rules of a variable. Because a variable, once again, is a letter of the alphabet that represents a certain value. A letter. So it's only a letter. Okay? And you have here a letter. We have only letter A. And that is a variable. Okay, the next word is terms. The term in algebra may consist of a constant or a variable or a constant and a variable multiplied to its other. So example of a term is 8x, 8x, 3 fourth y, negative 7 over 9z or, or negative 3xy. Also an 8, a, b, c is called a term. So remember, a term may consist of a constant, a variable, or a constant and a variable multiplied to each other. Again, let's check if you can determine which of these given values, which of these given values here are called terms. Remember that a term is a constant, a variable, or a constant and variable multiplied to each other. Again, you have here a minus negative 12xy, 3x plus 3y, 7z, a, 12ab, 10x plus 7, 5b, a plus 3b minus 22, 4 and 1 over 8, negative 150, 3 over 8x. So determine which of these are terms. So let us pause and, and check on these numbers which one is called a term. Go. Okay. Let's check all together. Again, as per definition of term, a term may be a constant may be a variable or a constant and a variable multiplied to its other. A while ago, we have determined that this is a constant, this is a constant, and this is a constant. And a constant is called a 
term. Okay? As per definition, a constant is also called a term. And also, we have checked a while ago that this is a variable. And a variable also a term. Also, a term is a constant and a variable multiplied its other. So you have here, here you have a constant and a variable multiplied to each other, 7z. Therefore, it's called a term. Okay? What else? You have here a constant. 3 over 8 is a constant. And x is a variable. And therefore, it is a term. Because a term is a constant and a variable multiplied to its other. What else? We have here a constant, negative 12. Okay? And you have two variables here multiplied to its other, x and y. So, you have, you have here constant and variables multiplied to its other. Therefore, as per definition of term, negative 12xy is also a term. You have still others? Yes. This is a constant, 5, and you have a variable b. And 5ab multiplied to each other is called a term. 5b is called a term. What else? We have a constant here. We have a constant and two variables. So, it's called a term. 12ab is a term. Do you have other else? No, because this is considered as one. This is considered as a whole, as, as one. And this is considered as a whole. Therefore, it is not, it does not conform the definition of a term, which is a constant and a variable multiplied to its other. Next word is algebraic expression. An algebraic expression may contain a constant and a variable separated by at least one mathematical expression. It can also be a combination of a constant and a term, a variable and a term, or a term and a term, all separated by a mathematical expression. Example of algebraic expression is x plus 1 or y plus 8 2x plus 3y plus 5, cx 7x minus 3y, or 2xy plus 5 are all examples of algebraic expression.